Hi there, this is John Miles on behalf of Philly Marketing Labs. I want to take you through something we call the Marketing Pyramid of Needs. It's a little bit like Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs, but for marketers. We like to break this down into three components that we call See It, Say It, and Be It. And I'm going to take you through this entire pyramid starting at the bottom and working up to the top in sort of a whirlwind tour of how to think about your marketing. A company needs to have the basics in place before it can move towards social engagement and mastery. Think of it like this. It's a little bit like going to a cocktail party or a networking event. If you don't have a business card, you don't have an elevator pitch, and you haven't defined your product or service, then you may have some interesting conversations, but you're probably not going to leave that party with new business leads. Similarly, you need to have all of the components in place so that when you start to engage through the web, social media, or other marketing activities, that you're going to be successful because you have taken the time to put the basics in place. Let's take a look at this from the very beginning of what we call the see it level. So at the basic level, we have self-knowledge and market knowledge. What does that mean? Well, it means that you've done your work around your business model. You put your business plan together, you've done the introspection around where your strengths lie, where your opportunities can be found. And you've also taken some time to develop competitive intelligence, market knowledge, and insight into trends. Perhaps you've done some market testing to understand what kinds of things work in the market space that you're operating in. What is your ecosystem? This requires a deep understanding of where you fit. We call this stage, see it. The next stage of development requires you to actually look at your product position and your visibility within your marketplace. This is the point where having a killer website actually comes into play. But it's more than just a killer website. You also have to think about, what is my brand? How do I best communicate my value? Do I have different messages for my different market segments? In the previous see it stage, you define the various market segments you're trying to reach. Now you need to decide on the message you want to deliver to them. With message and brand in hand, you can build a conversion-oriented website. This is where visibility for your company comes into play. You'll need search engine optimization, also called SEO. You may want to do pay-per-click or some form of email marketing. Offline, you may be doing print advertising or sending out direct mail postcards. Link building for your website falls in here. This is all about creating visibility in your space. You're getting your message out. We call that Say It. And finally, we move to the top of the pyramid. At the top of the pyramid, we are focusing on conversion, conversation, and mastery. With the conversion piece, we are really looking at what is the sequence that's leading people through your website to the opportunity to engage with you as a potential customer. There are some powerful systems for this kind of work. At Philly Marketing Labs, we like to draw upon ideas from the science of psychology, influence, and conversion optimization. But whatever you do, you need to be thinking about how you're going to drive people to those leads. The conversation follows on top of that. This is where social media comes to play. A lot of companies consider starting with blogging or using Twitter, and they haven't thought through all of these other things. You need to have these things in place to be successful. Word of mouth marketing can now get started. You are going to be stepping into the marketplace and actually engaging with your audience in a conversation. And at that point, as people start to enjoy the conversation that you are having and feel that you have some insights, they are going to visit your website. And because you have completed previous states, you will be ready. You've done all of the homework necessary to convince them that you are a good company to do business with and eventually convert them into customers. All of this is leading on the path towards mastery. There's never a destination here. It's more of a journey. But ultimately, you want to have a point of view a place for communicating thought leadership in your industry, and something that you can iterate on that. You can continue to incrementally drive towards mastery once you have all of these other components in place and you are benefiting from the conversations that you are having in the marketplace. In this final stage, we also like to install the metrics dashboard. The dashboard allows you to measure how effective you are across the different digital channels, how the different channels are interacting with each other, and to continuously tune your marketing message as well as the conversations you are having with your audience in your marketplace. These pieces complete the mastery stage puzzle that allow your company to be it. So, see it, say it, be it. Those are the three components that we see in the marketing hierarchy of needs. Come and visit us at phillymarketinglabs.com or on the social web. We would like to strike up a conversation with you. Thank you.